Right, Shredders, have you seen these routes? I think we better do a session on how to ride them, don't you? No matter what your level as a mountain biker, route sections can be intimidating. This one in particular, we've got routes everywhere, and then we've got this big diagonal route here that's just waiting to take you out. So let's have a look at some principles that we can apply to root sections in general that will help us to feel a little bit more confident and succeed in getting past these nasty little buggers. So the two golden rules of mountain biking, which you've probably heard me mention before, are keep your head up, look where you're going, and stay nice and relaxed. Now those two things are absolutely key when it comes to, to routes, as well as every other thing in mountain biking. Specific to routes is that ideally you need to try and ride over them perpendicular like that but of course that means the tree to have kindly grown with the roots perpendicular to the direction of travel on the trail and we all know that doesn't happen very often so sometimes you are going to come across routes where they are at a diagonal angle to the motion of travel maybe you can go round them maybe you can hop them or maybe you can just go light over the top of them and then if you can't do any of those things well we'll have a look at that as well so here we've got a section of trail where there's roots in the middle but actually you could ride around the outside of them. So if you've got your head up and you're looking where you're going, as you approach, you'll be able to see that that's a possibility. So that's option number one. Hopping over routes can be another option as well. So let's go and have a look at this. So we're coming down here, we've got our head up, we can see where we're going, and we, we see that there's that big route, but it's quite close to here. So you could just hop over it. You might want to brush up on bunny hops. You can just do that by clicking this link up here. But you can actually just manual off of this if you wanted instead. I'll show you both techniques. So if you're not super confident with bunny hopping something like this, as you just saw, the manual's a good alternative because you've got your front wheel over that nasty route and typically where the front wheel goes, the back wheel follows. If you get to a super gnarly route section and you just can't figure out how on earth you're going to get down, down through it, don't be hesitant to get off your bike and just stop and have a look because let's have a look here. If we come down to this horrible big route, there's a line here and look, there are no routes down that right hand side. All you've got to do is get down over here and down there. You better roll down that without any problems at all. It, faster as slow as you wanted but because we've stopped and got off and had a look you can see that that's an option you might be thinking yeah but Emily I can't ride down that I don't want to that's too scary for me well the point of this video isn't to say you must go down the right hand side of this line here it's to give you the principles and the framework that you can take away with you to your local trails to a type of route section that you're comfortable with trying to tackle and practice some of these different ideas and give you something to think about so that over time you're going to improve, you're going to feel more confident when you come across a really nasty looking route section. So I mentioned earlier on about unweighting over routes. What I mean by that is that you pump into the ground just before the routes and then just allow the bike to come back up again. So with the suspension and even if you've got a hardtail, you'll get some rebound out of your suspension, out of your tyres that will help to unweight the bike up and over those routes. You don't take off as such, you just go light over the over the routes. So I'll just roll along here and show you what I'm actually talking about. So I'm I did mention there that you know that you're pumping just before the routes. I'm going to do a video on pumping, so keep an eye out for that. You could even hit that subscribe button right now, and then you definitely won't miss out. Let's imagine now that we're at some routes where there's no option but to ride through them. There's no nice, they're not perpendicular, you can't hop them, you can't really do anything except ride over them. What are we going to do? Well, look to brake beforehand if you want to slow down. One thing to bear in mind with routes is it's actually better to have a little bit of momentum so that you don't get hung up and stuck behind them. Oh, oh, oh dear. As you're coming down through a route section, if you are looking ahead and where you're going, you can start planning where you might break. So the place where there's the least amount of routes that's going to give you the most amount of traction, you're basically looking for dirt to break on. So putting that all together, to ride down through a carpet of routes like this, you need to come in at a speed that you're comfortable with, do your braking beforehand if you can, and then you want to stay really nice and relaxed, look where you're going so you can spot where you're going to do your braking, and just let the bike move around underneath you. So, I hope that's been helpful. I hope you are going to take away some of those principles about how to deal with routes. 
If you liked what you've seen, hit subscribe for more skills tutorials like this one. And uh, if you've got any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. I'll try and help you where I can. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.